One of the agreed upon topics between the MLB and the MLBPA is the banning of the shift. Sam Gould said, imagine if the NFL banned two high safety defenses because some of the quarterbacks couldn't complete big throws against it, LOL. I'm going to take a different point of view about this. The NFL would never do anything like that, right? Except when the offense lines up in an incorrect way, it's called an illegal formation because they have the ball already giving them the competitive advantage. So they let the defense line up accordingly to how preset offenses are allowed to run in the NFL. It's the same thing here. In every other sport other than baseball, the offensive player has control of the ball, so they have advantage. So we've set up offensive place markers so we can have a competitive balance between offense and defense. Think of hockey. Hockey has the offsides penalty. You can't just load up one side of the ice. The NBA, you, they have the offensive three-second violation. You can't just camp in the lane and wait for a ball down low underneath the hoop. It's the same thing here. The only difference is the fact that baseball, the defensive player is in control of the ball so pitchers are allocating pitches on the inside of the plate the defense shifts accordingly making it hard for hitters to get barrel on the ball and shift the ball to the left side of the plate this is essentially what they're going to rule as like an illegal formation the nfl uses for the offensive player when you think about competitive advantages in other sports every time it goes to the offense because they're in control of what they're doing with the ball except for in baseball so you have to neutralize that by actually setting up markers for the defensive side of the ball and i know baseball peers are gonna be like just learn to hit it where it's not but Times have really changed in the MLB. A 92 mile an hour fastball when people weren't shifting before, that's a low end fastball in the major leagues now. Most players, especially starters, are throwing between 95 and 100 miles an hour. Hitting a fastball already is measured in nanoseconds. It's faster than you can blink. So I think banning of the shift is a good move. I really do. I think it helps competitive balance across the board in baseball. It's only going to make pitchers better, defenses better, and hitters more exciting to watch. If one of the big problems we've had in baseball that we've talked about for a long time is that the casual fan has a hard time just getting into it because it's not as exciting as seeing touchdown passes and slam dunks. Seeing more hits in the gap, more home runs, is going to be a good thing for baseball. I don't know. We're all entitled to our own opinions, you know, but... It's just a point of view that people don't talk about with baseball having defensive control of the ball. I just thought I'd bring it up.